Quantum mechanics and general relativity stand as the twin pillars of modern physics, each towering in its own domain of the very small and the immensely large, respectively. Quantum mechanics unfurls the surreal mysteries of the subatomic world, where particles exist in a haze of probability and defy the classical laws that govern our everyday experiences. Its equations allow us to predict the behavior of electrons and photons with astonishing precision, laying the groundwork for technologies ranging from lasers to the transistors at the heart of computers and smartphones. In stark contrast, general relativity is the theory of the immensely large cosmic stage of stars, galaxies, and the very fabric of space-time. It tells us how mass and energy warp the geometry of the universe, creating what we feel as gravity. This theory has passed every test with flying colors, from the bending of starlight by the sun to the recent observations of gravitational waves from colliding black holes. Yet, these two theories describe realms that seem philosophically and physically irreconcilable with each other. The quest to merge these two theories into a single framework, often referred to as quantum gravity, has been one of the most profound and challenging endeavors in theoretical physics. The difficulty lies in the radically different languages they speak, where quantum mechanics thrives on probabilities and wave functions, general relativity speaks in the geometric absolutes of space-time curvature. Bridging this divide requires not just a new language, but potentially, a whole new way of understanding the universe. This reconciliation is not just of academic interest, it has real-world implications. For instance, Understanding the quantum aspects of gravity is essential for comprehending the conditions of the early universe or the inner workings of black holes, where both quantum effects and gravitational forces are immensely strong. The resolution of this conflict may not only unveil new principles of nature, but could also lead to revolutionary technologies that harness the deep laws of the cosmos. To find out why the two giants of the physics world don't get on, let's dig into their background a bit. What is quantum mechanics? In short, quantum mechanics is a fundamental theory in physics that provides a description of the physical properties of nature at the scale of atoms and subatomic particles, which are the smallest units of matter and energy. At the core of quantum mechanics lies the wave function, a mathematical abstraction that encapsulates the probabilities of finding a particle in a particular state. This wave function doesn't provide a clear-cut picture of where a particle is or what it's doing. Instead, it offers a spectrum of possibilities that only coalesce into certainty when we measure them. This is the principle of superposition, where particles can exist in a blend of states simultaneously, like a ghostly cloud of potential that only materializes into a solid reality upon observation. This ghostly nature extends to the phenomenon of entanglement, where particles become so deeply connected that the state of one instantaneously influences the state of another, regardless of the distance between them. This peculiar connection, which Einstein famously derided as spooky action at a distance, suggests that at a fundamental level, the universe is an intricate tapestry of relationships that transcend the classical constraints of space and time. The quantum world is also a discrete one, where certain properties, such as energy, come in indivisible packets called quanta. This quantization reveals itself in the discrete energy levels of electrons within atoms and the specific angular momentum they can possess. It's a stark departure from the smooth continuum of energy we observe in the macroscopic world. One of the most striking and counterintuitive features of quantum mechanics is the uncertainty principle, which asserts that there are fundamental limits to what we can know about a quantum system. For instance, the more precisely we determine a particle's position, the less we can know about its momentum. This uncertainty is not a matter of technological imperfection, but an intrinsic aspect of nature. The dual nature of quantum entities, acting as both particles and waves, is another cornerstone of quantum mechanics. Light, for example, can behave like a wave, interfering and creating patterns of light and dark, or like a stream of particles, photons, that can knock electrons out of their orbits. This wave-particle duality is a quintessential quantum conundrum, challenging our classical intuitions about the nature of reality. Quantum tunneling further defies classical intuition, allowing particles to pass through barriers without the energy traditionally required to do so. This principle is not just a theoretical curiosity, 
it's a phenomenon that powers the sun's fusion and enables the operation of the microscopic transistors that are the heart of our digital age. Yet, the quantum world is elusive. When quantum systems interact with their environment, a process known as decoherence, their uniquely quantum behavior dissipates, giving way to the classical physics that govern our everyday experiences. This transition from the quantum to the classical is a frontier of modern physics, holding keys to understanding not just the workings of the universe, but the nature of reality itself. Quantum mechanics has not only reshaped our understanding of the physical world, but also laid the groundwork for technological advances that were once the realm of science fiction. From the semiconductors at the heart of our computers to the precision of MRI machines, the principles of quantum mechanics are integral to the technologies that define our modern life. Once we wrap that into our minds, we can look at what general relativity is. General relativity, Albert Einstein's magnum opus, is a theory of gravitation that replaced Newton's law of universal gravitation and redefined our understanding of space, time, and gravity. At its heart, general relativity is a profound and elegant description of the gravitational force, not as a force in the traditional sense, but as a consequence of the curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy. Einstein's insight was that what we perceive as the force of gravity in fact arises from the bending of space and time. According to general relativity, massive objects like stars and planets warp the fabric of space-time around them, and other objects move along these curves. This is often visualized as a heavy ball placed on a trampoline, distorting the fabric and causing smaller balls to spiral inward. This curvature dictates how objects move in space and how time flows, and these effects become more pronounced as the mass of an object increases or as one gets closer to it. One of the most striking predictions of general relativity is the bending of light in a gravitational field known as gravitational lensing. This phenomenon, which has been confirmed by observations, allows us to see light from distant stars curving around massive objects like galaxies. It is as if the mass of the galaxy acts as a lens, bending the path of light and magnifying distant cosmic objects. General relativity also predicts the existence of black holes, regions of space where the gravitational pull is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. The edge of a black hole, the event horizon, marks the boundary beyond which gravity is inescapable. The theory further suggests that time itself slows down near massive bodies, a phenomenon known as time dilation. This has been confirmed by precise clocks on airplanes and satellites, which show a slight difference compared to those on Earth, a direct consequence of the time dilation predicted by Einstein. Another fascinating aspect of general relativity is the prediction of gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time that travel at the speed of light, produced by violent cosmic events such as colliding black holes or neutron stars. These waves were directly detected by the LIGO and Virgo observatories a century after Einstein predicted them, confirming yet another aspect of the theory. General relativity has profound implications for our understanding of the universe. It provides the foundational framework for modern cosmology, including models of the expanding universe and the Big Bang theory. It has also been essential in the development of technologies that rely on precise timing, such as GPS, which must account for the effects of gravity on time to provide accurate location data. Both theories seem to make sense. Why do they dislike each other? The incompatibility between quantum mechanics and general relativity arises when trying to describe situations where both are important, such as in the center of black holes or the very early universe. Here's why they are incompatible. In the quest to understand the universe, physicists have constructed these two extraordinarily successful theories. Each theory is a master of its domain, yet when they meet, they are like two languages without a translator, each unable to describe the world in the terms of the other. The heart of the conflict lies in their foundational principles. General relativity is a classical theory, viewing gravity as the curvature of space-time itself, a smooth, continuous landscape that dictates the motion of celestial bodies. Quantum mechanics, conversely, is a theory of the discrete, portraying forces as the result of particles exchanging bosons, with gravity's messenger, the graviton, 
remaining elusive and hypothetical. The two theories diverge even further when it comes to the fabric of space-time. Quantum mechanics suggests a foamy, turbulent Planck scale, where space-time is anything but smooth, filled with wormholes and quantum fluctuations. This is a stark contrast to the smooth, continuous space-time of general relativity. Moreover, the mathematical frameworks of these theories are at odds. Quantum field theory, the language of quantum mechanics, leads to infinite values when applied to gravity that cannot be reconciled or re-normalized as they are with other forces. This suggests that at the extremes of scale or energy, such as those found in the center of black holes or the universe at the time of the Big Bang, a new, more fundamental theory is needed, a theory that can seamlessly blend the quantum with the cosmic. The treatment of time also presents a profound disparity. In the quantum realm, time ticks away as a fixed background parameter, unchanging and unaffected. In the world of general relativity, time is a dynamic quantity, stretching and compressing under the influence of gravity. This difference poses a significant challenge to any attempt at unification, as it requires a conceptual leap to reconcile a dynamic space-time with a static time parameter. The problem of measurement in quantum mechanics, where the act of observation alters the observed, stands in stark contrast to the deterministic nature of general relativity. The deterministic equations of general relativity declare that the present determines the future completely, a notion that quantum mechanics disrupts with its inherent uncertainty. These profound differences have led physicists on a search for a theory of quantum gravity, a theory that can merge the probabilistic with the deterministic, the quantum with the cosmic. This search has given rise to various candidates, such as string theory and loop quantum gravity, but the definitive answer remains as elusive as the graviton. The unification of quantum mechanics and general relativity remains one of the most profound challenges in modern physics, a puzzle that, when solved, will signify a leap in our understanding of the universe, as significant as the theories themselves.